Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It is Wednesday late morning and I just picked up our Walmart grocery order for the week. Um, things have been absolutely crazy. We had a really great tournament weekend. Jackson's team played amazing. We didn't win, but seriously, they played the best I've seen them play. They played a couple teams that were 13 year olds and our team is mostly 11 year olds. We have three 12 year olds. Everyone else is 11 and then we have one 10 year old. So they played fantastic. We couldn't be more proud of them. I really wanted to vlog the tournament and I even filmed like a start of a vlog before we left on Saturday, but the weekend was literally so insane. Like four games on Saturday alone, hotter than heck. Um, we were so sweaty, so hot. And like, I just, honestly, I just, I didn't even like think of it once I got there. So I apologize. Now I'm going to try to get back onto my vlogging game because it's been quite a while since I vlogged and I really would like to get back to it since it's not just a grocery haul channel. It's also supposed to be like a family channel, but something about vlogs on YouTube, I always feel like they're not exciting enough or like I'm not doing anything exciting enough to vlog. So I've been doing like one minute vlogs on TikTok, just like a quick 60 second one, but I really would like to get back into the YouTube one. It's just that those obviously take a lot more time and effort and we've just been so insanely busy. So I promise I will do one very, very soon. But this week's haul was only like $108 and some change. I don't remember the exact amount, I'm sorry. But it was a lot of odds and ends. Same with last week's haul. Um, I stocked up when I went to Sam's Club last week and we have a lot of dinners that carried over since we were gone all weekend and I didn't cook. So we'll start down here. I have half a gallon, half a gallon of fat-free milk. We have some light baby bell cheese. These are only one point on Weight Watchers, so I like these. We have some hot dogs. I forgot to buy them the last couple weeks and Jackson was like, we haven't had hot dogs in a while. Laughing cow cheese. I love this stuff. One wedge is one point and the aged white cheddar is so good They also have several other flavors if you haven't tried this. I highly recommend it I use it in wraps in place of like a piece of cheese. Um, I use it on sandwiches I just spread the wedge of cheese on my bread. Um, I use this in like everything love it so much I actually prefer it over regular cheese now and I actually like it better than cream cheese I got another pork loin. I haven't bought one of these in a while. This is the Asiago peppercorn I like to do these in the air fryer Chicken breast because for some reason, I don't know how I managed to, but I forgot to buy more chicken when I was at Sam's last week. So I just used the last of my chicken when I made dinner a couple nights ago and I was like, oh gosh, I should probably buy more chicken. So I grabbed some of that. Some Eggo waffles. These are one of Cohen's all time favorites. The Applegate chicken and maple breakfast sausage. So these are one point per link. So I kind of do want to get back into some of the turkey sausages that were like two links for one point, but these are just so good and flavorful. I'm obsessed with them. They are really expensive. This is a small, I mean, it's like, it looks like a decent sized bag, but it's filled up to there. <laughs> so it's not like it's full. Um, and this is just under $10. So it's pretty expensive. Now, several of you recommended some really good sausage from Costco and I could not find it at my Costco. I've checked the last two or three times I've gone and they don't have it. I see Jimmy Dean turkey sausage at my Cossid, at my Cossid, at my Costco, you guys. I've only had one cup of coffee. I am still dragging from this weekend and it is Wednesday, so I apologize in advance for however crazy and chaotic this video is. Um, but I saw the Johnson, or the Johnson, the Jimmy Dean. See, I'm like all over the place. I saw the Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage at my Costco that was turkey and I've had that before and I like it, but I like this even better. This stuff is amazing. So if there's any other brands you find at Costco, let me know. The one that a lot of you recommended to me, I'm trying to remember the name of it. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but our store didn't have it and I was super bummed about that. And I honestly forgot to check Sam's to see like what their options were. I got some chicken breast lunch meat. This is just oven roasted chicken breast. Two um, loaves of bread. I'm actually leaving and flying to Oregon on the 5th, which is Cohen's birthday. We're going just for a few days, him and I, a little birthday trip. My mom's coming along. Um, my nephew's first birthday is on the 6th. So we're flying out there for like his first birthday. And I thought I would take Cohen with me to make it like a special little birthday trip. Um, and I have a feeling Chris and the other kids will be eating a lot of sandwiches while I'm gone. So I grabbed two loaves of bread this week. Some of the reduced fat Fiesta blend cheese. I use this on Weight Watchers. If I use an eighth of a cup, it's only one point, and that might not sound like a lot, but it's actually a decent amount. So sometimes I add this into scrambled eggs, or if I'm having like a taco or a fajita or like a burrito bowl, something like that, I'll sprinkle a little bit of this on. Hot dog buns, Dunkin' cold brew, I swear by this stuff. I buy a box of it every couple of weeks because one box will make two pitchers of cold brew. Honeydew, a couple lemons. I'm gonna do the um, crock pot lemon feta drumsticks. Hopefully one day this week, if not early next week, and then they can eat the leftovers while I'm gone. Um, and then I also have some lemons already in the fridge. I wanted to make some like 
I just, I like to put sliced lemon in my water sometimes. So use some for my waters. I have some eggs, mini muffins, because once again, like I sound like a broken record, I'm sorry, I went to Sam's last week. We still have a lot of snacks and things like that left from the tournament. I bought a ton of stuff and packed a ton of stuff for the tournament. So did all the other moms. So a lot of the food that I took to the tournament didn't even get eaten. So we have like a ton of snacks at our house. Um, okay, so the Jello. Let me explain this really quick. And I'm sorry, the garbage man's out front getting the garbage. If you can hear that, it's pretty noisy. Um, Chris's boss, whose name is also Chris, gave Aniston this like jewelry making kit, and she's so excited about it. But here's the catch: it makes gummy jewelry, which you need the instant Jello packs for. So. I had to buy these jello packs. She wanted a bunch of different colors. So she wanted blue, green, red, and yellow. So that's what we bought these for so she can make gummy jewelry. So we're gonna try that one of these days. Probably not tonight, we have baseball practice tonight, but maybe her and I can sit down and do it tomorrow night because there's no practice or anything. But she's super excited about this. More of the Annie's shells and cheese. Sara Lee delightful bread. Once again, another Weight Watchers favorite, one slice is only one point. So I can make a whole sandwich and I only spend two points on bread, which is crazy. And the bread is actually really, really good. I think it's the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small. I can have a whole sandwich and it's not dry. It's delicious, highly recommend it. It's a little bit on the pricier side compared to like regular bread, but I know that Aldi also makes a 45 calorie bread that is also one point each for a slice. So. If that's a cheaper option for you, I just haven't been back to Aldi. I've had a few people ask me why I haven't gone. I really did like it, and I do plan on going again soon. It's just not directly in the town I live in. So when I'm over that way, it's usually to go to Costco or to Sam's, and I'm just not able with how hot it's already getting in Arizona. Even with coolers and things like that, I don't like to plan like multiple shopping trips in one day, and like it's just too hot for that already. So I'm hoping maybe after I get back from Washington to make a trip to Aldi and do like a big Aldi haul since it's been quite a while since I've done one. We have Chex Mix, this is the bold. Cohen loves this stuff. The other kids do too, but he loves it. All right guys, if you've never had Dots pretzels, highly recommend these. Um, I got the Snyder's Twists at Sam's Club and they were like the seasoned ones and I had a bunch of people tell me how fantastic they were and we really loved them. I'm honestly surprised there's any left. Um, the bag was quite a bit bigger than this though that I got from Sam's and I still have like a half of it left, maybe a little bit less, but it was del they're delicious, we really like them. And so I thought I would get these. We have not had these in quite a while and I wanted to see which ones Cohen liked better because he's my pretzel fanatic. All the kids like pretzels, I love pretzels. Chris likes them as well, but Cohen, like they're one of his favorite foods. So I wanted him to do like a little taste test and see if he preferred the Dots or the Snyders. And these are way pricier. So this little bag is only 16 ounces and it was $4.98 at Walmart. I paid that for the Snyder ones at Sam's Club and it's like twice the size. So they're super expensive. We have cinnamon roll oatmeal. This is just one of Aniston's favorites. She eats it almost every single day. And then I got Velveeta sliced cheese. Once again, one point on Weight Watchers. And then Dr. Pepper zero sugar. So we tried the cherry last week, or I think it was last week. I think it was that I got it. We had the Diet Doctor or the Dr. Pepper zero regular and the cherry and they are both fantastic a lot of people were telling me to try the dr pepper cream soda mix but i was looking for it in either zero sugar or diet and my store didn't have it um, they were out of the cherry this week so i got the regular again but highly recommend this i liked it a lot better than diet dr pepper and i'm a huge diet dr pepper fan i know pop's not good for you and i hardly ever buy it. if you've been watching my hauls um, since i started you guys know i very rarely buy like pop but I've just been kind of craving it lately. So, and I don't have a can of it every day. I have two or three cans a week. So it's not like I drink a ton of it. And then I wanted to show you guys this stuff. So you're gonna be like, holy cow, that's a lot of bananas. I think there's like eight or more bananas in here. And then I have this bunch. Well, it's because of this stuff. I wanted to share this with you guys really quick. Go Nana's banana bread. This stuff is so fantastic. It's a vegan banana bread mix. Now you don't have to make it it doesn't have to be vegan, but it can. So it just takes, if you can focus, you guys can see what it takes. You can you know, choose to either use uh, non-dairy milk or you can choose any kind of milk of your choice. You can do melted coconut oil or you can sub it for canola oil, avocado oil, butter, yogurt, that kind of stuff. So this stuff is fantastic. Here I have the red velvet. I have not tried this one yet, but this is one of their all-time best sellers. I have the original, which I have tried and is fantastic. And then I have the salted caramel banana bread mix. All right, let me tell you, if you guys didn't already know this, if I haven't mentioned it before, I'm a huge caramel fan and I have tried this one and this is fantastic. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. 
so good, like so good. And I've made it in loaves, I've made it in muffins, and I think my favorite way is the muffins because it's perfect for a grab and go snack on the way to baseball practice, out the door in the morning, like so perfect. They just have to be like refrigerated. My kids take them in their school lunches, like we love them. But I just wanted to share this with you guys really quick because these two are restocking for one last time on Sunday, May 2nd. So this upcoming Sunday is the last time you guys will be able to get these. So. They are a seasonal flavor and that's why they already did a pre-order for them, but I was out of town and I totally messed up and got my dates mixed up and forgot to post about the pre-order, but you still have a chance to snag these. Um, like I said, it's just the red velvet and the salted caramel because they are seasonal flavors, but your last chance to get them is Sunday, May 2nd. And then I will have a link. If you go to my about section here on YouTube, um, there's going to be a link for my beacons profile which just is like where you can find all my favorites. There's a link there to my Amazon favorites, a link to Nerdy Nuts, a link to Go Nanas, just like stuff that I love and I like to share with you guys. And then if I have coupon codes for those items, then I have the coupon code listed there as well because I'm all about saving money. So just thought I would share that with you guys really quick because it kind of explains why I have so many bananas because we are literally obsessed with Go Nanas. And I think you can even find, if I'm not mistaken, some Nordstrom racks carry Go Nanas banana bread mix. So if you're ever at a Nordstrom rack, keep an eye out for it because you will not be disappointed. We have tried the chocolate chip, the original salted caramel, gingerbread. What's the other one we just tried with the salted caramel? Hmm. I'm, I'm spacing out. I'm seriously, I swear you guys, I need another cup of coffee. We tried another new one with the salted caramel and there, I have not been disappointed with any of them. Like they were all amazing and my kids are obsessed with all of them. So they make perfect little muffins, like I said. So I hope you guys are all having a fantastic week and everyone is staying safe and healthy. Bye guys.